In our final installment of Erner Berry's German Butcher series, Wolfgang and Andrew continue to break down the hindquarter. In our previous segments, we watched as they broke down the round into primal cuts. Now we return to watch as they butcher the loin. Okay, what we what we have here is the hindquarter. We already split, uh, separated the short the loin off the beef loin, which is which consists of the uh, what we call the middle meat. This is the middle meat, and that gives you your T-bones, porterhouse, and your sirloin section. You also find in here your flank steak, and then the rest is a lot of fat and waste, which usually get carted away, and they make soap, soap out of it. Now here, here we go now to the loin. I want to get as many of the porterhouse steaks out of it. See, this is where your hip bone starts. So this is about as far as it goes with the porterhouse. Porterhouse is very desirable because it has a large fillet and a large strip loin. You know, that's very much sought after in restaurants. And you can see here, um, again, the strip loin here and the fillet portion here, which then tapers down to the tail end of the fillet, often called the tornado, served uh, with surf and turf or different dishes. You can see as that fades out here and by the end of your T-bone actually you just simply have your strip steak instead. So what we're going to do um, is now just remove that portion of the filet mignon, work right along the uh, bottom of the bone here and it almost in a sense uh, because it is used so little uh, peels away from the bone if you just uh, work the tip of your knife removing some of that heavy fat. So that's your filet and on the other side your strip loin. And then this will be broken down into steaks uh, depending on how you prefer to serve it, however, however many ounces of a steak that you were using it for. Again we generally do a quarter inch trim on the fat and remove that tail end of the fat giving you that New York strip steak. Uh, this is again a, a choice cut and you can see uh, based on the marbling of the fat here uh, this is also uh, a grain fed beef um, which also heightens the amount of fat that uh, the animal has within its body. Again this is the filet mignon and we just remove some of that trimming and the sinew along the top. And this can be sold as a roast or in steaks. Uh, in this case, I'll probably leave it whole. When you buy a whole filet, you can also take the whole filet out. Then the upper part, the thick part, is called the, the butt tender of the filet. And that's what I'm going to remove now. So what we do is we're going to remove the filet because it's a very desirable cut. Here's your top butt. Okay. That's the way we buy it now, vacuum packed basically and then we cut it into steaks. Two ways of cutting this into steaks um, again as he said you can leave everything on obviously we'll do the quarter inch trim again um, and then besides cutting the steaks um, like that we also will go in and remove uh, something called the culotti um, which is the, the bit, basically the tip of the sirloin steak um, it's really actually quite tender, um, can be used on the grill. We'll often use it in the summertime. Um, it's our favorite thing to use on shish kebabs. And then this is the heart of the sirloin, which then we would cut down for steaks as well. In recapping our trip to the German butcher, Wolfgang reviews all of the cuts he has butchered from the hindquarter. As we started off from the round, what would, did we get here? We, let's start off with the round pieces, which constitute the, the bottom round, the rump, your eye round, your beef knuckle, and then we got these um, nice London broils. Knuckle. And uh, from the very top, we got the, the shank. Now that would be basically your, your round. And then we got into the steak meat, which gave us the T-bone and the porterhouse, but we broke this down further and we got the New York strips, 
By the way, this is a very nice marbled meat for a piece of choice. I like the quality, and I think I'm going to take one home. Mm -hmm. And then from the inside of the loin, we have we got the fillet. These are the rows that are cut into individual steaks. And we have one T-bone here. And then when we got to the hip, we broke it down into the boneless sirloin steaks. And from the top, we got the kulak, which can be made into steaks, shish kebabs, London broil. There we are. The rest is bones and trimmings for chopped meat. And uh, that's your hindquarter. Oh, I forgot about the flank steak we didn't have. We sold earlier. Somebody wanted it. <laughs> and um, that, that's the hindquarter. That's it. That wraps up Erner Berry's German Butcher series. Please visit the video page on Comtel to review any of the previous segments. Once again, thank you to Wolfgang and Andrew for inviting us into their butcher shop.